Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we are just gonna jump right into it. As you can see, I have wet hair, my makeup isn't on yet, and I just wanted to do a um, test on the new Vitalist Healthy Elixir by CoverGirl Foundation. I'm sure you guys have seen this everywhere. I'm a little late to the bandwagon, but I was at Target the other day and I saw it and I was like, you know what? It's about time I try that foundation. Um, I just got out of the shower, I need to run a few errands, so I figured I would try it out today. Here, this one would be a good one to try out. I've heard people with combination, oily, and dry all like it, so it had me a little intrigued. What I'm gonna do is probably not film a full face, I'm just gonna film putting this on, and then at the, at the end of the video, do an outro, just letting you know my thoughts, and then I'll do a check-in if I can. If not, I will um, put it in the description box or when I'm editing, let you guys know how I do like it. I don't really feel like you can get a full idea of a foundation unless you wear it for a few days um, because sometimes it kind of grows on you. I have foundations that I didn't like in the beginning but now I do so I feel like maybe I'll try it out for the week and at the end of the week let you guys know as well. Um, the color I got was Honey Soft so that's what it looks like right there. Hopefully the color matches me. Also I already prepped my skin. I used my Neutrogena moisturizer and I went in with my Urban Decay prep spray. Uh, first and then moisturize. I also got this one heck of a blot um, by Soap and Glory Primer and what I did was I used half of my Makeup Forever primer on this side and my one heck of a blot on this side and I wanted to see if it had a difference at all because I don't really feel like this does a whole lot and I really like this as well as my step one equalizer. This one is more for um, mattifying your face and this one's for pores so I sometimes use both of them but I just use the mattifying one today because the one heck of a blot kind of reminds me of the same type of feel like that silicone feel. Not silicone but like that gel filling. So I did this on this side and this on this side. So I'm going to see at the end of the day if it made a difference. If not, I'm probably going to return this because it was like 11 bucks, and I feel like if it doesn't do anything, then why keep it? So we'll see how that goes. So yeah, if you guys want to see how the foundation looks, then just keep on watching. Alright, we're going to just jump right into it, people. Um, my hair is still wet. I am wearing pajamas. I just don't like to film wearing regular clothes because I get foundation all over me, and what a waste. Um, right now, I feel like my face is pretty matte. Um, I'm going to go ahead and apply the foundation. I like to just use a brush, so I'm probably going to just use a brush for the application. I know some people use like a brush on one side and a sponge on the other, but I'm too lazy to get up to wet it, and I have a brush sitting right here, so that's how I'm going to apply it. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the foundation. Um, I am breaking out a little bit, so I do want to... Uh, spot conceal really quick. So I'm just going to use some of this CoverGirl um, corrector on some of these large areas really fast. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the foundation. I really hope, I really like that it has a pump. That's awesome. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just put some all over my face. I um, really hope that this color matches me because I didn't really test it in stores and I kind of feel like it might be a little too dark. Hmm. It kind of smells good for foundation actually. It smells like like clean soap to me. Um, if this oxidizes, my face is going to be so dark today. I'm going to scoot you guys in a little bit closer so you guys can see. So I just dotted it all over my face. I have my mirror sitting right here so I'm just going to go ahead and start blending it. Um, right off the bat, I feel like the color might be a little too dark, but I can lighten that up with concealer, so it's not like a huge issue. But if it tends to get darker, I'm going to have like a total tan face today. But we went to California, and I'm still pretty dark from that trip. We were out by the pool, so I feel like my chest is a little bit darker, so it might actually be okay. So... Right off the bat, it is blending out nicely, so you guys can see. But it's not like heavy or cakey or anything like that. I really actually like the finish of it. It's funny when like I watch, watch first impressions because they're like, the way they explain foundation, I'm like, I can't really tell right away unless it like legit looks like it's just caking everywhere. But like people are like, oh my god, I really love this foundation. It's like, you just put it on. <laughs> I feel like you have to wait, you know, throughout the day to find out what, if you really like something. 
because I know for me the true test is like wearing it throughout the day. Um, I mean, I guess right away if you knew, like if, like I said, if it was like, oh my god, it looked horrible on your skin, but right now it just looks like every foundation to me. It doesn't feel like super heavy or anything like that, which is nice. I don't feel like I have like a shit ton of foundation on. You know, like some foundations, it just feels like super heavy on your face, but this one actually doesn't feel too bad. And it's supposedly lightweight, full coverage makeup. The, this formula hydrates and includes a complex of SPF 20, which is nice. Uh, vitamins and antioxidant and it is oil free and I feel with just one layer I got a really even um, coverage I don't really have a whole lot to cover up so to me like I feel like every foundation it, it looks the same on me but um, I would say it was like a medium to almost full for me I know some people are like really hardcore about their foundations and they want like full full coverage but <laughs> To me, the coverage seems like medium. I'm just going to build it up a little bit more like on my cheek area to see if it can build up some more. Because my, my problem areas are more like the cheek area. That is what it looks like with just uh, like a one and a half layers on. I use like two or three pumps, so I mean this is going to last me. Okay guys, so that's it right there. I'm going to go ahead and add some concealer to kind of lighten it up right now. Or today I'm going to use my concealer um, by Wet n Wild. It is a lighter one because I feel like my medium one from Tarte is a little bit... Maybe I'll add both of them in there a little bit. So I'm going to just go ahead and go in with the concealer and just lighten up this a little bit. I'll just maybe add a little shape tape on top of that. Oh, it's like the same color. So just like so, and I'm going to go ahead and blend this out because I look crazy. If you guys ever like have too dark of a foundation on, I just find that this is an easy way to lighten it up, just putting more underneath your areas like right here on your forehead, down your nose, on your chin and then like here underneath your eyes to kind of just brighten it up a little bit. I feel like that actually helped a lot. And then for under eye setting, I'm gonna just use my Wet n Wild, you guys know. I'm gonna go ahead and set using the cream, or the, not the cream, the lighter side in this. You guys can see I already hit pan, which makes me so happy knowing that I'm using a product up for once and not just <sighs> buying a bunch of stuff and not ever using it. Guys, that is it for setting underneath my eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and add some powder to my face as well on camera and then I'm gonna finish the rest of my face off camera because I wanna just stick to the foundation itself. So for powder today, I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus powder and I'm using the Royal and Lane Nickel brush that I got in my um, BoxyCharm last month, which I freaking love this brush for powder. It would be really good for even under eye setting because it has that point, but I've just been using it for um, all over the face powder. Now, no matter what foundation that I use, I have to set with something because it just, I don't know, I just have to. Because I get really oily, so I feel like I just have to set with something. Oh, well, you guys can see um, right now I'm feeling pretty matte. Um, I set with powder. Um, the foundation looks pretty good on my face. Like I said, the true test for me is to see how it wears throughout the day. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up all my makeup and I will be right back. All right, guys, so I am back. Went ahead and finished got, uh, finished getting ready. And today on my eyes, I am loving, and I think I'm going to do a video on, um, this was the palette that we got in our BoxyCharm. Um, I will show you right here. That's the Pure Palette. And um, I just wore a lot of the warm colors on my eyes today. So um, I think for sure I might do a video on this look because I really like how my eyes turned out. So that's the palette I used today on my eyes. Also on my lips, I used this color strip also from the uh, BoxyCharm that we got this month. Um, you guys should see that probably before this video. Um, so you'll see the products. I kind of go into more detail and swatching and stuff like that. So that's what I used today. All the other products that I use, I will list down below in the description box for you guys, like I always do. And so far for the foundation, um, I would say it does look really nice on my skin. I do think I need to get a little bit of a lighter color maybe. I'm going to try to see what it looks 
looks like on the um, like outside to see what the um, foundation looks in natural light because I feel like that's where it really gives you like the full what it looks like. Um, so I'm going to have to go outside and see but I mean so far I like the foundation. I do need to wear it throughout the day to see how it wears to do an actual wear test but for application itself and the way that it looks on my skin I think it looks great. What I'll do is just continue wearing this throughout the day and letting you guys know my final thoughts at the very end. Um, so I guess I'll just cut it here. If I don't have a time, if I don't get a chance to check in again, what I'll do is just probably come on camera and do another little like an intro for you guys because I have to run a few errands and I'm not sure if I'm going to come home from those errands. So anyways, I'll get it figured out for you, but so far so good. I really like it and I always suggest you guys trying this out um, so far. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a few hours. Hey guys, welcome back. So as you can see, I'm in a totally different outfit. My hair is thrown up. Um, I have leftover foundation on from the day, but I tried out the Healthy Elixir Foundation by CoverGirl, and um, I didn't get a chance to do a check-in that night because I was just out and about and didn't get to come back on camera, so I wanted to do a check-in. I've been wearing this foundation for the last three days now, and all day that Saturday, so Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, so four days now. And I have to say, I do like it. I wanted to do like a real wear test because I feel like for me, I have to wear it a few days to know if I really like a foundation. Um, I do like it, but I think the color is too dark. I might have to go back and get um, a lighter color. This is the Color Soft Honey, but I feel like it tends to get a little bit darker on my skin as the day goes on. So I'm probably going to have to take it back to get a lighter shade. But other than that, I would say it wears pretty well throughout the day. I wore this all day long today at work, and this is left over on my face. Um, in the natural light outside, I could tell that it kind of wears down easily, like on the sides of your face. But it does stay really like the coverage is really good. I noticed on my nose right here, it's already it's already wearing off a little bit. But I mean, it doesn't look bad. Um, it just doesn't last on my skin as long as I like foundations too, but I have heard that before I, on a few um, reviews. I heard that it looks beautiful the first few hours, and then after like the five-hour mark, it starts to just break down. And I am super oily, so I feel like with foundations, they just tend to break down on my skin a lot faster. So like my chin, you can tell it's a little broken down. Um, I'm going to zoom you guys in so you guys can like really see the foundation. So it's pretty worn down like over here there's not a whole lot left my bronzer is like almost gone um i got really oily on my nose and like up in this area but my chin is pretty much gone i don't know and you can see like it is a little bit too dark for my skin as well so i'm definitely gonna have to take it back i mean i want to keep it to keep wearing it to try it because i feel like it is a good foundation and does have spf in it but i think i might just end up wearing it for like I don't know, outings when I know I'm gonna, not going to be out like all night long. Um, I don't know. I felt like on Saturday it held up a little bit better than what it's been doing the last couple days. I don't know. And also natural light too. You really get to see what it looks like. But all in all, it's not a bad foundation. It's just not maybe something that super oily skin people would like. I probably will keep using it. Um... Because I do like the way it looks when I first apply it. So all in all, I'm going to give it like an eh. It's, you know, I feel like people with dry skin would really like it. But really oily girls like me, it's okay. Um, so yeah. Um, also, I tried out this blotting on this side of my face. And my Makeup Forever on this side of my face. I did that. Don't mind my cat. I did this side with the blot and then the Makeup Forever. I didn't notice like a huge difference of the pores and it really keeping my oils intact. So... I mean, do I think this is worth the 11 bucks? I'm probably going to take this back because I, it was okay. It wasn't like a game changer. And both sides of my face, the Makeup Forever and this side, they look about the same. So I didn't really like notice a huge difference. So I'll probably end up just taking this back. So that's um, everything that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry I didn't get to check in on the last part of it, but I just wanted to update you guys with what I thought of the foundation. So anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. And be sure if you liked the video to like and subscribe and share with all your friends. And until next time, I will see you guys soon. Bye!